Hey you guys, my name is Shivani and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to take you through a recent shoot that I did and I'm going to show you the whole process of it from the setup to the hair and the makeup. So if you would like to see that, please keep on watching. My dad helped me out with it and the flowers that I have done are also sticked with the cello tape and I have just stick the thread. So I'm done with the setup and I just have to do my makeup and we'll start shooting. For makeup I'm gonna do nothing fancy. Uh, I'm planning to do uh, like a colour, pop of colour in the inner corner and lots of blush and some lipstick and that's about it. For the foundation I'm using the wet and wild foundation. I've already applied a moisturizer so if you guys are following this as a tutorial make sure to apply a moisturizer before. Concealer, I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is one of my absolute favorite concealer. You just need a little of it. It is pretty high coverage. So I'm just gonna do a dot right here and here. Bronzer. I'm gonna use this sugar bronzer. It's very pretty and it looks very realistic. I'm gonna contour my jawline, my cheekbones, and my nose a little. Because you've applied the foundation, uh, your face can look a little bit toady and to add the dimension, that's why you use the contour and the bronzer. So that when it sets, your creases are not highlighted and it looks much nicer. So I'm going to do the same, remove the creases under this eye. For the eyes, I'm using the Makeup Revolution X Roxy palette. It's the color burst palette and I absolutely love this palette. It looks something like this. It's dirty, uh, excuse me. And these are the shades. As you can see, we have so many shades right here and the colour that I'm planning to use is the lavender right here. So I'm going to take up a small brush like this and then just pick up that colour and mix it with the colour here which is called Timmy, it is just a black. You can do this with any eyeshadow you have and then just pop it in the inner corner. For the eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Lacme's Insta Liner. This is one of the best eyeliners by far, and I'm gonna do this off camera because I can't talk and do this at the same time. So I'll be back. For the mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Hyper Curl Mascara. This is one of the best drugstore mascaras for sure. It makes my lashes look so healthy and so long. For the lipstick, I have the Maybelline's uh, matte lipsticks in the shade Nude Neons and I absolutely just love this lipstick, it's so good. This one is over, so I have to apply it by my hand. So 
that's it for the blush. So finally, we've done with all of the things, and all that's left is just to put on the highlighter. For the highlighter, I like to use the Wet n Wild highlighter. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, let me show you. Do you see that? It's it's gorgeous. Like just look at. This. I also apply highlighter on my collarbone because one thing I, I don't see a lot of people doing is that they don't apply makeup all over their body and I mean the upper part of the body then it can look a little off then it looks like there's a full face of makeup but nothing on your body it just looks so beautiful I just love it So this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys like it. It's very easy to recreate and I just love it. If I had no cash to spend If I forget we had plans When I feel like breaking down Ooh, you'd be there to hold my hand Lost in my head Call me back to bed, oh, oh When I feel like I got nothing left I got, I got you I got, I got you I got, I got you